is one measurement superior when it comes to gauging the true intensity of a hurricane and what is the true measure of a hurricane season. Sure, there's no shortage of data available on hurricanes. We track winds, we track pressure, we track, we track storm surge and even more grim tallies. But is there a more accurate metric? We bring in Dennis Mercereau now. Dennis, first, how do we measure the intensity of a hurricane? Like you said, there are so many different ways we can measure the intensity of a hurricane season. We can count the number of storms that formed, we can look at the maximum strength of the storms that formed, and we can even look at metrics like landfalls, casualties, or damage. But the best way we can do it is a metric called accumulated cyclone energy or ACE. Okay, explain ACE for us now. It has been around for a while, but does it grow more in relevance these days? It absolutely does. ACE is a metric that meteorologists use uh, to quantify the intensity and longevity of tropical storms and hurricanes. They take the maximum winds every six hours for the duration of a tropical storm or hurricane's lifespan, and they do some math, they add them all together, and it arrives at a nice round little number, and we call that the ACE value. A higher ACE value indicates a storm that was stronger and longer lived, while a very low ACE value indicates a storm that was weaker and shorter lived. Interesting. Okay, so to me, it means that we're not just counting the, the number of storms. We're actually adding up intense storms, power, and destructive ability together. Right. What's an example of, say, a strong and a weak storm, for example? We saw an excellent example of that in 2024 with Hurricane Beryl and Tropical Storm Chris. Now, Hurricane Beryl was a historic storm. It was the earliest Category 5 storm we've ever seen in the Atlantic Ocean. It, it formed in early July of 2024. And over the course of its 10-day life, it, it added up an ace of 35. Now, at the same time as Hurricane Beryl was Tropical Storm Chris. Chris was a very weak storm. It had only lasted for 12 hours and it generated an ACE of 0 0.2. Now the energy output between those two storms is like the difference between a watch battery and a diesel engine. It really puts things in perspective, especially when you're talking about storm preparation. Now let's juxtapose what a hurricane season can look at when you are actually adding up ACE values. ACE allows us to judge a whole storm season based in substance rather than just face value numbers. Can you elaborate and compare and contrast? Absolutely. Uh, we can look at the 2020 and 2005 hurricane seasons, which are two of the most intense seasons we've ever seen in the Atlantic Ocean. 2020 saw 30 named storms, which is the most named storms we've ever seen. And it only generated an ace of about 180 because there were a bunch of weak storms that all added up to pad the numbers. Now in 2005, we had 28 named storms, which is also a lot. It was the most at the time. But we saw five, or four Category 5 hurricanes and several other major hurricanes. These were intense marathon storms and they really padded the numbers and we saw an ace of 245 that year, which is the second highest on record only to the 1933 hurricane season. So the ace, even though they were two of the most intense hurricane seasons ever recorded, the ace values really shows the difference between what happened in 2005 and what happened in 2020. And as storm seasons are getting more and more intense and sea surface temperatures are getting warmer by the year, how can comparing ACE values help us see climatological trends and maybe prepare better for the future? Yeah, we're, as we see more storms, um, meteorologists have the capability to detect more storms now as we have advanced satellites, radar, aircraft observations, and buoys. So we can detect more storms now than we could just a couple of decades ago. So ACE becomes even more important as we're trying to gauge the intensity of storms versus just the number of storms. Dennis Mercereau, thank you for that. As always, preparation and preparedness and learning more about ACE, the metric. Thank you.